we have the indefinite integral of tangent squared of x solution. So there are strategies you can use to integrate uh, integrals that have powers of secant and powers of tangent. So one general strategy is if you have an even power of secant, what you can do is save a copy of secant squared. Well, that does not apply here. And the other popular strategy is if you have an odd power of tangent, you can save a copy of secant tangent. So both of these are super powerful strategies, but again, does not apply here. What we have here is a lone even power of tangent. So whenever you have a lone even power of tangent, you want to convert it to secants and see what happens. So there is an identity that relates tangent and secant squared. So 1 plus tangent squared of x is equal to secant squared of x. That means that tangent squared of x is equal to secant squared of x minus 1. Right, just subtracting 1 from both sides. Right, minus 1, minus 1. Good stuff. So let's go ahead and rewrite our integrand using this trigonometric identity. So we have the indefinite integral of parentheses secant squared of x minus 1 dx. And now we can easily integrate this. To integrate secant squared, you simply ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is secant squared? Tangent. So we end up with tangent x. And again, that's because the derivative of tangent is actually secant squared. Minus, and then we have to integrate 1, so that just gives us x. And then plus our constant of integration, c. And that's the final answer. I hope this video has made sense, and I hope it's been helpful to someone out there in the world working on integration. That's it.